welcome to Zimba Motoring. My name is Nez. Now today we're driving the Bentley Bentayga V8. Now uh, this is rather different from the cars I normally drive. So uh, here are five reasons why you should buy a Bentley Bentayga V8. Let's go. Before we get started, let me just run through you guys the specification on this particular car. So the colour is quite unique. It's not a colour I've certainly seen before. It takes quite an acquired taste to uh, to spec this particular car. So the colour is called Dove Grey and it comes with the black line specification to the exterior which means what? It's got all the black bits. But the interior is called Cricket Ball Leather. It's a single tone leather interior with fascias and centre consoles in carbon fibre. Overall the price of this car is £136,200. The Mulliner driving specification which is a £7,255 option. Centenary specification, city specification, sunshine specification, touring specification, black specification, front seat comfort specification. Yeah. So the Marlin Art specification includes those lovely 22 inch directional black painted polished alloys, the diamond quilting seats, the dual fuel and oil filler caps and drilled alloy sports foot pedals. <laughs> So guys, point number one on why you should buy a Bentley Bentayga is because of the interior quality. It feels very special in here. Now, obviously I'm sitting on these beautiful diamond quilted leather seats, part of the Malina specification, but it's the quality of the cabin, the quality of everything from the leather, the hand stitched, stitching, the perforations. It just feels like a high quality product, fantastic place to sit. Everything you touch just feels expensive. The carbon is just very well put together. Obviously this car is handmade and it's hand built in crew. So quality is definitely up there on the Bentayga. Reason number two on why you should get yourself a Bentley Bentayga V8 is the fantastic engine. So this car comes with a four liter twin turbocharged V8. Now this engine is made a few appearances in other Volkswagen Group models. It's not surprising why Bentley have then decided to put it in the Bentayga. Obviously the Bentayga is available two engines. You can get the W12 or the V8 twin turbo engine. This engine, great torque, great power. The red line is 7,000 RPM, but it doesn't make a lot of noise in the cabin. You don't hear the actual car. It just gets down the road. <laughs> It's a very impressive engine. So much torque. I wish you could feel the shove I'm feeling right now. It does it in its own way. It's got its own character. It doesn't shout like other V8 engines. You can still hear it. It's not in your face, but you feel it in the way it goes down the road. Obviously the Bentayga is now a few years old. So I'm not gonna pretend this is a brand new car. It's brand new, fresh review. It's been out for a while. So the steering, again, not full of feel. It's an electric steering system. So fortunately, this is the way these cars are going. There's not a lot of feel, but this is a big four x four, you gotta remember. It has to do the city stuff as well and the off-road. So it's not got a lot of feel, but it's very light. Drives excellent. The suspension's really supple, really soft. Just soaks up the bumps. <laughs> The pace, the pace that you go at is uh, pretty extraordinary. It certainly is a Bentley, that's for sure. The engine tone could be a bit better, but on this car, I'm sure you can get an acropovic exhaust system just emphasizes the V8 engine in this car. But overall, the driving experience is fantastic. Great engine. Obviously, it's not a sports car, guys. It's not on the same level as a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Porsche Cayenne Turbo is more planted, it really loves a B road. This is more softer, it's just more suppler. Uh, it has to be a Bentley at the end of the day, uh, first and foremost. Launch control in a Bentley. <laughs> Woo! That's point to the floor. Yep. She's quick. <laughs> Never thought I'd do that before. Launch control in a Bentley Bentayga. V8, eh? The weather conditions aren't excellent, but still lots of confidence 
the four-wheel drive system just taking care of everything. One little criticism I'll give it is sometimes when you're on full throttle and you come off, there's a slight half a second delay. There's a bit of a lag. It doesn't come off straight away, which is a bit worrying. Here we go. <laughs> just grips and goes. Reason number three guys on why you should buy a Bentley Bentayga is because of the amount of technology on offer. I mean just to run through with you guys some of the features and tech on this car. For example, this car comes with the city specification which includes the park assist, reverse traffic warning, top view camera, traffic sound recognition. As part of the sunshine specification it comes with electrically operated blinds for rear side windows. Part of the touring specification, it comes with adaptive cruise control, Bentley Safeguard Plus, which means it scans the road for possible frontal collisions and it alerts me, the driver, and automatically applies the brakes. It's got heads up display, it's got lane assist, it's got night vision traffic assist, which means it senses vehicles and in initiates small steering inputs to avoid a collision. Other tech features this car comes with include ventilated front comfort seats with a massage function, electrically adjustable seats and memory for front seat belts, front comfort headdress. I'm just scratching the surface, I'm just giving you some of the highlight technical features that come with the Bentley Bentayga. It's got a panoramic roof, it can park itself, auto start stop, a lot of tech on offer on the Bentley Bentayga. <laughs> So guys, reason number four on why you should buy a Bentley Bentayga is because of the values. These cars now on the used car market are very, very affordable. Obviously, it's still an expensive car, but relatively speaking, if you compare to this car's main proper rivals in terms of the actual luxury and quality of the cabin, I mean, if you look at a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, those cars are ridiculously expensive. And those cars, you know, if you compare like for like in terms of quality and what you actually get, you know, the Bentayga is now actually offering excellent value. You don't have to get the actual V8 petrol. You can get a V8 diesel. New, these cars would have cost a quarter of a million, 300,000 fully specced, even more. For what you get, you know, it's a lot of car for the money. Bearing in mind an SVR, brand new you're talking 130 140 and this car feels a lot more special than the Ranger SVR feels more special than a Porsche Cayenne Turbo BMW X5 M so in terms of value in the used car market it's a car you should definitely consider it's a hell of a lot of car for the money not new because new it's expensive you lose a lot of money in terms of depreciation you've seen cars from 300,000 and now you can pick one up for half the price yeah, depreciation is, uh, is not very nice with these cars. But on the used car market, I'm sure you can pick up a used car bargain in this. So value is reason why you should definitely consider a Bentley Bottega. Reason number five, guys, you should buy a Bentley Bentayga V8 is because of the amount of options and specifications on offer. You know, the world is your oyster with Bentley. You can go to town on how to spec one of these. As I said at the start of the video, this car is in dark gray. Personally, I've never seen a Bentayga in this color, so it's very unique. And you can go to Bentley and say, can you match my suit color to this car? And they'll go and do it. Can you match my expensive Ferrari color? And they'll do it. So the amount of customizations you can do on the Bentayga, on the Bentley in general, is absolutely incredible. And that's just the reason alone you should buy one of these. Tying it in my previous point in terms of value, you can see different specs on the market in terms of the customization and the options available in this car is, is one big reason alone you should get one of these because your car could be very different to others out there and you're guaranteed to have a very unique car to another Bentayga. So to me, that's a huge bonus because if I'm gonna spend a lot of money on a car like this, I certainly want it to be unique. I don't want it to be similar to the guy next door. The customizations in this car can do so much. That alone is a big reason why a Bentayga is a really fabulous car. Do you know what? When this car first came, I was like, nah, that's ugly. Don't like it. Why have Bentley made an SUV? Why are they doing this? Bentley have been known for sports cars and you know, a luxury GT cars. So why have they made 
a Bentayga. After a while, after I've seen many of these on the road, and now they've come down in value, it's definitely a hell of a lot of car, and it's got a lot of presence, it's got a lot of curb appeal. So guys, those are my five reasons why you should get one of these. Number one, the quality. It's handcrafted, it feels special. Number two, that engine. Brilliant. It's not a sports car, but like a Continental GT. Uh, there's a few things it could do better. The gearbox could be a bit faster in terms of shifts, but you can forgive it. It's a Bentley, it's supposed to, to be comfortable. Number three, the technology on offer. There's so much you can get one of these. Number four, the value. On the used car market, these are a relative bargain considering what you get for your money. The tech and the prestige, it's just a hell of a car for the money. And number five, the level of customizations, the unique specifications you can get. You guarantee that your Bentayga is most likely to be different to your neighbor's Bentayga. So the customizations alone you can get on this car is phenomenal. So those are the five reasons why you should buy a Bentley Bentayga. A huge thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the video. Weather has not been on my side either. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Bentley Bentayga V8. Hope you subscribe, make sure you like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.